You know, the process of making a video here on YouTube, sometimes it's a serendipitous occurrence that gives you this brilliant idea for a video to make. Sometimes you just rely on the old faithful stuff that you're going to do every month. Yes, I am talking about Video Games Monthly and eShop Hidden Gems, and sometimes a comment is made on a video that really makes you think about some of the content you make. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jay. Welcome to Square Pegs. Thanks for stopping by. Recently, I did a video where I was talking about uh, some games that I really enjoyed, and a comment was left about how I don't really talk about multiplayer games here on the channel, and that's kind of true. I'll mention it in passing, but I don't really put any focus on it, and there is a reason for that, I, I, I will be honest. I don't do a lot of multiplayer. I'm pretty much the only person in my house that really games. My son plays a lot of games, but we don't really have a matching style of games that we enjoy playing, so we don't really play together all that often. My wife games, but she does a lot of single-player stuff, and personally, I just prefer single-player games. Now, that's not to say I don't like multiplayer games. I really do. And today, I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about some of my favorite multiplayer games that I've been playing over the years, that I'm still playing today, and kind of just give you a little bit of a glimpse into that other side of things I don't really talk about here on the channel very often. And we're going to kick things off with the game that is a big asterisk on this entire video, because I don't go back to it. Uh, I don't play this very often. I play this incredibly infrequently because, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't really care for it. But without this multiplayer game, this channel wouldn't exist. And that is upside down. And that is Atari Football. Now, if you've been on the channel for a long time, you know my history with Atari Football. This is the first video game I ever played on a home console. I had played stuff in arcades before. I played things like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. But I was so young that they don't really register in my head, for lack of a better term. I just don't really remember them, but I vividly remember my experience playing Atari football on my cousin Greg's Atari 2600. Uh, he and his family lived in Portsmouth, Rhode Island at the time in the house that my grandfather had built, and his room was just the coolest thing ever. Uh, he had a, a room that was designed to look like an old ship's cabin, and it was something my grandfather had built, uh, with just dark woods everywhere built in, and uh, he had a tall bed that we sat on, and across from him was a probably like an eight-inch black and white TV. Uh, but in my eyes, and you know, in my memory, it was massive. It was huge, uh, and we played Atari football on it. He he asked me if I wanted to play with him, and I'd I'd never really played anything before, so I was ecstatic to do so. It was the first time I'd ever held anything like this. I'd never really spent any time with a joystick or anything like that. It was my first exposure to gaming. And that multiplayer game is what led me to where I'm at today through all of my love of classic console games, through my adoration of PC gaming, to my time working in the game industry, was all because of Atari Football. Uh, and that game I played with my cousin Greg in multiplayer. Now, I will say everything else is a legitimate multiplayer game that I actually still enjoy playing today. And we're going to go right to probably the biggest one on the list right now for us. And our family plays a lot of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We just adore it. It's something that we, I'm not going to say we play every week, but we play pretty frequently. We'll get together, we'll, we'll hop into the game room downstairs, which is behind these bookshelves over here. Uh, we'll sit on our big couch, we'll boot up the Switch, and we'll play some multiplayer games of Mario Kart. Typically, just Grand Prix, we'll go against each other, but we do battles every once in a while. And it's just one of those games that we all love. We all have a different skill level at it. Uh, Victor is getting significantly good at it, which is really fun to watch because he, he like actually beats me in, in races now and I don't let him win um, and it's just it's just a good time and we we all have our favorite courses we all have our favorite characters our favorite cars it's a really great time for us to get together on a Friday or a Saturday night just spend some time together playing games and just enjoy each other's company and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is such a well put together game and such a brilliantly designed title that we, we've had it since Gosh, the day it launched on the Switch, and I'll be honest with you, it was one that we bought digitally because we knew it was an evergreen title. We knew if we bought it, we'd never trade it in. So we just got it digitally, and it's something that we play all the time. We, we've, we easily, as a family, have hundreds of hours in it. It's, it's something that we just love, and we have a ton of fun with. And you know what? It's a brilliant title. I know some people don't care for it, but honestly, I think you're crazy. It's, it's just wonderful. Another one I really like on the Switch is a game called Mercenary Kings. Now, I've talked about this one in the past. Uh, it's it's an eShop title, and I, there might be physical out there. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a game that I was introduced to uh, on Steam. 
and when I started playing it on Switch, I told my friends Scott and Jen about it from Retro Rivals. And it's a title that I just love. It's so much fun. It's such a brilliantly designed, almost quasi-Metal Slug type title. It's a, it's a run-and-gun platformer. But it's so much fun multiplayer, and it's just ultra-chaotic multiplayer. It's such a brilliant game. I really, really love it. It's it's one of those games that I don't know that a lot of people know about it, and if you hear about it and you haven't played it, I urge you to check it out, because I think you'll love it. That goes for this next game, too, uh, which is one of my favorite PC games of all time, and it's called Monaco. Uh, Monaco is a heist game. Now, Monaco is fun single-player. It's transcendent multiplayer. And it's, it's on other consoles as well. It's on the Switch, it's on the Xbox 360. It's a heist game, and you are able to choose from a series of different characters that all have different abilities, like the locksmith can pick locks more quickly, the lookout is able to see around corners, the pickpocket has a pet monkey that will go into rooms and get all the money out of it, you have uh, the mole who can dig through walls, there's a ton of different characters, and it's chaos incarnate. Like, it is legitimately one of the most chaotic games out there, because as soon as communication falters, the game just goes honestly into the toilet and it's so wonderful because it is just utter chaos and it's something where you will find yourself trying to continue to work together like my friend Corey and i used to play it uh, when we lived together down in florida and it was regular for us to be shouting across that across the house at each other as we're you know wired together trying to get through this levels trying to figure out what to do or where the other person is at to to solve this heist to get all of the objectives and get out it's a brilliant game i I love it. There's a sequel in the works, which I'm ex absolutely excited for. And it's something where it's one of those games where it's just like, man, if, if if one person picked this up and played it, it would be it would change their life because it's not like it's an important game or anything like that. But it's such a great title that I think more people need the opportunity to play it. All right. Here's another one that is great single player, but multiplayer was one that we used to get together regularly and play. Uh, my friends, uh, Bob, Corey and I. We get together and we would play WWF No Mercy back in the N64 days. And it's still a great game today. Like, if you haven't played this one, it's the best wrestling game on the N64. An argument can be made for WrestleMania 2000 as well, but No Mercy is the one I prefer, even with the game-breaking glitch in it. It's such a fun game, and it's such a well-designed title. It uses the Aki engine, which was perfected on the N64, and somehow still plays great on that console, even though it hasn't aged terribly well. If you look at something like AEW Fight Forever, that game ain't great. This one sings. It's fantastic. It's got a great roster of wrestlers. It's got all of your favorites from the late 90s, early 2000s. It's it's just a brilliant game. It's so much fun. And as cheesy as it is, having like the worst piped-in music, the worst Titantron videos, where it's just like, oh boy, the N64 was really taxed by this title. <laughs> The gameplay is top-notch. It's a fantastic game. Now, normally I would talk about this game here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, which is fantastic, but I don't want to talk about that one because there's actually a newer game from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise, which I think is incredible and is one of the most fun multiplayer games I've ever played, and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This is from .emu and Tribute. And those two are peanut butter and chocolate. Those are two great tastes that taste great together. They made an absolutely incredible game. Fantastic level designs, amazing gameplay, brilliant usage of the Ninja Turtles license. I love this game. This was my game of the year a couple of years ago, and it's something that I constantly go back to. It's great, it's great on the couch, it's great online, it's just a great game. There isn't anything in this one that misses. It's fantastic. I mean, you can't go wrong with the character lineup either. There's just so many awesome characters in this. They just added Usagi Yojimbo into the game. You can unlock Casey Jones. It's, oh, it's so good. It's such a fun title. All right, off to the Sega Genesis now. And this is... I, I didn't want to feature a ton of sports games in this one. So I've got I've got WWF No Mercy on here, and that's a different kind of sport. But this is, this is more of a straight-up sports game. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful sports experience. And I'm showing this off less because of the Genesis version and more because of the arcade experience, but it's NBA Jam. And NBA Jam is legitimately one of the best versus experiences you could ever possibly have. The competition levels in the game are fantastic. The gameplay is wonderful. 
Hearing Mr. Boom Shakalaka himself, Tim Kitzrow, yelling in the game is fantastic. It's just such a wonderful time. I do prefer Tournament Edition over the original, but either one is going to be great. They're both fantastic, and they're both spectacular multiplayer titles. Much like NBA Jam, preferring the arcade version of that one, even though it is fun on home console, this one falls into that category as well, and this is Killer Queen Black. Now, Killer Queen Black on the Switch is a lot of fun. It's a really well done game. It's very arcade. It is a very arcade experience, and that's why I really think that if you are going to play this one, finding a Killer Queen Black arcade cabinet, which has two sides to it, and you're actively competing against the people on the other side, is so worthwhile. It's fantastic. I originally played this at a pinball bar in Minneapolis, Minnesota that I can't remember the name of, and it was something where I was just blown away by the quality of the gameplay, just the uniqueness of the title, and how incredible of an experience it was to have opposing sides on the same arcade cabinet. It's a lot of fun, it's challenging, and it's kind of ridiculous, but it's so good in person and live on an arcade cabinet. Here's one that might get a few question marks on it, but for me, the best part about this game... Okay, not the best part, that's, that's a lie, but the best part obviously is designing your homes and all the characters and stuff like that, but one of the best parts about this game is the multiplayer aspect of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is one where, I w and I wish I had footage of it because I don't. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff in this video you're going to see is single-player footage just because when I'm playing multiplayer, I don't think of capturing footage. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm trying to be in the moment and play the game. But one of the things that we used to do in this game that I had an absolute blast with was we would host game nights uh, in Animal Crossing where like, my wife created this entire game show where she had different contests set up around her island where the people that she invited in would go and compete against each other and win prizes. It was it was such a creative experience. It was so much fun to get together with everybody and play this that it's it's like the the core memory I have of New Horizons, which I've, I've left in the past now. I don't really play it anymore, but my core memory experience isn't my island. It's those experiences getting together with people, with our friend Corey, with our friend Matt, and being able to sit with them and Pam and Chris and play games together in Animal Crossing was just so cool and so much fun. All right, a couple more to talk about, and first one I'm gonna go to the Wii is uh, one of my favorite arcade experiences from one of my favorite creators from SNK. This is uh, the Metal Slug Anthology, and this is awesome because you can actually have up to four players playing at the same time, and if you haven't played the Metal Slug games, kind of like Mercenary Kings, like I was mentioning, this is a, a run-and-gun platforming shooter, which is just so much fun. The animations are amazing, the gameplay is spectacular, it's 100% a quarter muncher, and if you can find an arcade cabinet, play it there. But any home experience is going to be plussed by playing Metal Slug, and this one's awesome. So, Metal Slug Anthology on the Wii, which is great. Uh, you get Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug 4, Metal Slug 5, and Metal Slug 6. So you get a ton of games on this disc, and they're all wonderful. They're so much fun to play, and this is kind of SNK at their best. Outside of stuff like King of Fighters, outside of stuff like Fatal Fury of Art of Fighting, this is where SNK is at their best. One of my favorite experiences gaming, and this is kind of a stand-in for, for everything in this franchise, is LEGO games. Now this is LEGO Star Wars 3. I just grabbed this one because it was right behind me. Um, Probably not going to be the footage of LEGO Star Wars 3, because I don't know if I have any captured right now, but the LEGO games to me are brilliant multiplayer experiences, because it's just fun. You just get together, you smash a bunch of shit, you collect the coins, you buy more characters, you go through the level. Each property impacted by the LEGO games are brilliant. Whether you're looking at something like the Batman universe, whether you're looking at Jurassic World, if you're looking at Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, they all work. They're all so much fun. It's a very basic gameplay experience, but they're all fantastic. All right, and final game on this list and final multiplayer game I want to talk about that that's really important to me. Probably the most important one on this list because this is the series that really got my son into gaming. And it's something that we played together constantly, something that we still love to this day. Everyone in our family loves this franchise. And this is Skylander Swap Force. This was our first Skylanders game. This is the first one we got. I think he was five when we got this game. He might have been four. And we just fell in love with the idea of Toys to Life. We fell in love with the idea of these 
accessible and approachable and well-designed levels that were easy enough for him to enjoy, but still challenging enough that he was going to want to keep playing and keep trying and not just be bored of it immediately. We loved the world of Skylanders. We loved the characters. We loved the design work. We loved the music. We loved the voice acting. Like, everything in Skylanders worked for us. Our favorite is Swap Force. It was our first. You kind of always stick with your first. But every single one of them is a lot of fun. Skylanders is probably my favorite multiplayer experience of the last 20 years just because of those memories with my son. There's so many other incredible multiplayer games out there, whether you're looking at something like Gears of War, Team Fortress 2, Overwatch before it sucked. Yeah, I said what I said. Uh, Halo multiplayer. There's a ton of amazing shooters out there. There's fantastic multiplayer racing games. A million sports titles out there that are multiplayer. They're all offering something different and something exciting. I didn't even get into things like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which are chaos incarnate when it comes to multiplayer. Smash Brothers is another one. Every fighting game ever is a fantastic multiplayer experience, but those ones that I just listed are the ones that matter to me. Let me know in the comments down below what multiplayer games are ones that you enjoy, and I especially love to hear about things from Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, those kind of like those golden age of video games. Let me know. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button if you'd like to stick around. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to just keep discussing games, I would love to have you stick here. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and give it a thumbs up. That engagement really does help the channel. Until next time, folks, I've been Jay. I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me tonight or today, whenever you watch this. By the way, y'all look great today. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, remember to play more games, stay square, and take care. I'll talk to you soon.